Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Angie Walker. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, February 2nd, 2022. Scholars, let's get ready for our Brain Break segment. So with that in mind, just take a moment right now. Just take a big deep breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And as you breathe out, just allowing the eyes to close. Feeling the weight of the body press down. Allowing any and every thought to just come and go. Now, let's go to Chanel for today's Black History segment. Thank you, Angelie. Hey, Patriots. Today, we are going to talk about Rosa Parks. Rosa Louise McCauley Park was born February 4th, 1913. At the time, African Americans had to sit in a colored section of a bus and the other seats were reserved for white people. Rosa was sitting in the colored section when suddenly the bus driver told her to move so another person could have her seat. She refused to move and got arrested. This started the Montgomery bus boycott. It lasted over a year and finally ended December 20th, 1956, declaring segregated buses were unconstitutional. Her movement had a great influence on African Americans and their economic impact. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Chanel. Sports fans, have you ever heard of disc golf? Disc golf is a professional sport which has similar rules to golf, in which players throw a disc at a target. The discs are made of plastic and look like tiny frisbees. The players stand in a disc box, basically a small area in a designated position, then fling the disc into a standing basket. Similar to golf, the player tries to get the disc in the basket in the least number of throws or strokes. It has caught on in Florida and is played at some parks right here in Broward. I think we discovered a new spring activity. Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is pizza, broccoli, peach cup, and only chocolate milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Angelique. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, Black History Month has arrived. Today we continue our special daily activities. Today is our Black History Month curling contest. Ask your teachers for details. And tomorrow is when you'll be able to record your class or team rapping to the theme song of French Prince of Belair. I can't wait to see what your creative minds create. Scholars, you can now join the National Junior Honor Society. This is only for 7th and 8th graders. Applications are due February 7th. Check the flyer to see if you meet the requirements. This is an amazing opportunity, just waiting to happen. Sports fans, today's our boys basketball team has a game at 4.30 p.m. against the Browser Mimonades, and tomorrow they have a game against Davy Powell. This game starts at 4 p.m. Make sure to wish them good luck. We're getting ready for our glow party. There's going to be a great DJ and fun party games. It's going to be a glowing experience. This challenge ends by March 11th, so let's get those lessons done. The Superhero Store is open. Tomorrow is the 7th and 8th graders' turn to go to the Hero Store. Make sure to get there early. Now, let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Randy. Thank you, Angelie. Hey, Patriots. It looks like today's weather is going to be a high of 78 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. In other weather news, Africa's most populated city is being flooded and swallowed by the ocean. In Nigeria, a city named Lagos is being threatened by the Jos and Biu Plateau volcanic provinces. The volcanoes are starting to erupt, shifting tectonic plates and rising sea levels, causing land near shore to become a part of the sea. 
The volcanoes are calming down now, so we should expect less flooding. Now let's go to Yosani for the best video game segment. Hey Patriots, welcome back to BVG. For today's video game of the week, we'll be talking about the widely popular game, Roblox. Roblox is a website and an app that has over 500,000 games you can choose from. There are also a variety of genres to play from, like fighting, roleplay, or you could just go out and explore the world of Roblox. These games range from 6 and up and are really fun when you play with your friends. For example, we have games like Natural Disaster Survival, Meep City, and Work at a Pizza Place. You can also play with your friends anywhere as long as you have Wi-Fi. These games do not have a specific difficulty rating since there are a multitude of games. Some games might have better graphics than others. For example, Natural Disasters. Although it is really fun, the graphics aren't the best. But with Meep City or Work at a Pizza Place, they have a lot better graphics. So it really just depends on the game that you play. But if you go to settings, there's an option where you can change the graphics depending on how you want the game to look. These games are really fun to replay since there is more than one game and if you get bored of one, you could just choose from other hundreds of thousands. Roblox has so many games that it will be a long time before you get bored. These games are really fun especially when you have friends to play with. I would rate this game a solid 9.5 out of 10 because of the variety of games, replay value, and the fact that there is multiplayer. Here are some pros and cons. Roblox has something for everyone. Check it out. See you next time on BVG. Thank you, Yozdani. That was really entertaining. Today's birthday girls are Yamina Lee, Victoria Lopez, Sophia Rai, and Alyssa Hyacin. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Angeli. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss Onley, Miss Velez, Miss Newton, Miss Blanc, Miss I Am Thinkwa, and Miss Stone. You all got the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was Which percussion instrument is named after its shape? The direct answer is the triangle. Now, teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question What is the name of the first ever video game? Teachers, please send your answers to pinesatrenaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And don't forget, this year we're all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!